road to GH will reveal that Lucky had a tense evening when he first sat down to talk with Liz and his son, Aiden, after many years apart. His return to Port Charles wasn't solely about Lulu's health, but also an opportunity to mend the relationships he had left behind. However, instead of the warmth and closeness he had hoped for, the meeting plunged him into a whirlwind of complicated emotions. At first, Lucky didn't immediately grasp the changes in Aiden's life the child he hadn't had much of a chance to be close to over the years. The feeling of estrangement from his own son left him confused. Aiden had grown up, no longer the boy Lucky once knew. What shocked Lucky even more was the revelation that Aiden had come out to his mother, Liz, as gay. Information Liz had kept to herself until Lucky's return to avoid adding to the already chaotic situation. When this truth surfaced during their conversation, Lucky couldn't hide his shock and vehement opposition. Having grown up in a traditional environment, Lucky had always harbored strong beliefs about what it meant to be a man. These deeply ingrained ideas shaped his worldview, and confronting the reality that his son defied those expectations was something he couldn't accept. Despite Liz's efforts to explain that Aiden was simply living his truth, and that he needed support from both parents, Lucky remained trapped by his rigid mindset. He felt disoriented in his role as a father, having always envisioned his son following the traditional path he had known. Instead of seeking to understand and listen, Lucky allowed his frustration to take control of the situation. Feeling overwhelmed with disappointment, Lucky made a controlling ultimatum. He declared that if Aiden wanted him to stay in his life, he would have to change to become a real man. By Lucky's definition, essentially abandoning his identity as a gay man and conforming to the ideals Lucky believed were right. This condition struck Aiden deeply. He had already gone through a long, challenging process of self-acceptance, and for his father, the man he had longed to reconnect with, to reject him, for this was a profound blow. Liz, standing by, watched everything unfold with a heavy heart. She knew forcing Aiden to change to meet Lucky's expectations was wrong. Aiden had been on a difficult journey to discover and accept his true self, and Liz couldn't allow him to be hurt further by such unfair demands. She had once hoped Lucky's return would bring a chance for their family to heal, but now she could clearly see that this situation was far more complicated than she had anticipated. Aiden said nothing, but he understood that he couldn't abandon his identity just to please his father. He had fought too hard to live authentically and to deny that would mean losing his sense of self-worth. Although it pained her, Liz knew she had to stand by her son. She couldn't let Aiden be forced into changing because of Lucky's outdated beliefs. The tension between the three of them reached its peak. After much reflection, Liz realized that Lucky was incapable of accepting Aiden for who he truly was, and this created a deep divide within the family. She understood that, in this situation, protecting Aiden had to be her top priority. Her feelings for Lucky had once been profound, but now the gap between them was not just one of time and distance, but of irreconcilable differences in how they viewed life and people. Lucky's decision not only strained his relationship with Aiden, but forced Liz to confront a heartbreaking truth. The family she had once hoped to rebuild might never return to what it once was. With the conditions Lucky imposed, Liz came to the realization that trying to heal the past might be impossible. The future of their family seemed more fragile than ever, and this rift might never be mended. With a heart heavy with regret and sorrow, Liz knew that sometimes love and family couldn't fix everything. She had to protect her son and show Aiden that he had the right to live authentically, even if it meant their family would forever be changed. For a long time, Aiden had longed for a complete family, and with Lucky's return to Port Charles, he saw a glimmer of hope for the future. Though he hadn't had much chance to understand his father, Aiden knew this might be the moment for them to connect. But it wasn't just Aiden who wanted this. He also hoped that Lucky's return would bring peace and happiness to his mother, Liz, who had suffered so much over the years. Liz, who had worked hard to build a stable life for her children after numerous trials, still carried the wounds of the past. Her life had been turned upside down many times, from Franco's departure to the challenges of being a single mother. With Lucky's return, she felt old memories flood back, not just of love, 
but also of the deep pain they had experienced together. However, looking at Aiden, Liz realized that this wasn't just a decision about her. The boy longed for a real family, and Lucky's presence could offer that. Aiden had grown up missing the affection of his biological father, and Liz knew he needed a father in his life. 